Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own and then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Let's start by reading this problem. It says the cost of airing a commercial on television is modeled by the function C, I guess of cost, N equals 110 N plus 900. Now they're going to tell us what these things mean. N is the number of times the commercial is aired. Okay, so that's the cost based on the number of times they show the commercial. Okay. Um, based on this model, which statement is true? Um, so if we zoom through these, the one that I, I think makes the most sense is that the commercial costs $900 to produce and $110 each time it is aired. And the way I think about that is by setting up a table where we have N as the number of times aired and C of N, which is the cost, based on how many times we've aired the commercial. Now if I plug in zero for N, I get 110 times zero, which is zero, plus 900, which equals 900. Now that tells me something important. It tells me even if they don't show the commercial, they're going to charge me $900. And the idea is that that's how much you're charged, even though Eric, because it costs money to make the commercial, and that cost is called the production cost. So it costs $900 even uh, if you don't air it because you have to make the commercial. And every time you add on another showing of the commercial, you get 110 more dollars because it's 110 times 1 plus 900, and then 110 times 2 plus 900. And if we evaluate these, we get 1,010 and then 1,120. It's going up by 110 each time. Each time we increase the commercial by 1. Right? It's plus 110 for every 1. That's our slope here. So choice 3 makes the most sense. Thanks.